This is a prophetic message from the Lord that I am going to deliver to you, but um, I'm doing it trying to hold back tears. It's a very powerful dream that the Lord gave me this morning. Um, I'm going to read it first and then uh, provide scripture and the interpretation the Lord gave me. First, let me pray. Father, we just invite your presence, Lord. We thank you. I thank you, God, for this dream. I pray, Lord, that it reaches the masses. Lord, I pray your blessing upon this video, protection over this video. Um, and I love you, Lord. And I thank you for your goodness. And I thank you that you are calling us. You are calling us and you are calling us. Let us have ears to hear, Lord. We love you. We praise your holy name. We pray all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I'm going to... Yeah, just share this dream exactly as I had it, okay? So again, today's date is August 15th, 2024. So it was a dream of my Uncle Jeff and my cousin. And all of us family were together in a house. My uncle was saying, no, was saying I called. Oh, yeah. Wow, I just as I'm reading this again, now that I know the interpretation, it's just like blowing my mind. He was saying, I called. And my cousin said, you didn't call me. She was kind of in a funny, teasing way when he's, um, and he said, yes, I did call you. And he quickly walked over to his phone to show that he did. He was so happy and my cousin was smiling. It was a sweet demeanor between them and full of love. Um, if you don't know my, my, my uncle, he, yeah passed away a couple years ago. Then he started saying to prepare for the last days and have extra things put away and to tape things to the walls so they don't fall down. So he was all of a sudden, he was describing prepare for the last days, have extra things, make sure that you tape things to the walls so that they don't fall down. And that was the dream. Um, so before I prayed for the interpretation, I already started thinking about, okay, so we need to secure things to the walls because there's a shaking coming, right? There, so I wrote, a shaking is coming. We need to secure things to the walls because a shaking is coming that will shake the walls and anything not secured in place will fall. That's why you might hear different prophetic voices saying, get your boat ready, um, get your house in order. So I feel so blessed by God that he gave me a dream regarding this. So um, some scripture that I have for walls, okay, in Hebrews eleven thirty 30, it says, By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were encircled for seven days. Another scripture, Joshua six twenty. So the people shouted when the priests blew the trumpets. And it happened when the people heard the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat. Then the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Zechariah 2, 4, who said to him, run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls because in the multitude, because of the multitude of men and livestock in it. This the scripture really got me. Proverbs 28, 25, 28. Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. So get your house in order. Your spiritual house first and simultaneously your physical home. Our body is a house of the Lord. We are a temple for the Holy Spirit. Okay. We want our house to be built on the foundation, right? Christ is our, the chief cornerstone. We want the walls of our house to be solid, planted on a firm foundation, right? So that if there is any shaking, that we do endure it. On the flip side as well, right? The walls of Jericho came down because of faith, right? So if you have faith in the Lord, you don't have to worry about about whether the walls are going to come down or whether they're going to be shaken. You don't have to worry. 
whether the Lord wants to bring down the walls or whether um, he's going to allow a shaking of walls. If you are rooted and your walls are secured, you do not have to worry, but you need to make sure that your walls are secure. So as I laid down and I prayed and I asked God the meaning, within about two minutes, he revealed to me. I was laying there and I was like, God, what can you tell me? And I was just started thinking about it again. And then, bam, it's like the meaning just entered into my spirit. He revealed to me the conversation between my cousin and her father. This is a conversation between my cousin or this can symbolize the lost church. Okay. The church who has not yet received Christ as savior. Okay. Who, or who, who is not responding to the call. Let's put it that way. Let's not, let's not say that say he's not responding to the call. Okay. And my uncle represents God in this dream. Okay, the conversation between my cousin or the lost church and the father of God. And so what did, what did my uncle say to my cousin? He said, I called. And she said, you didn't call me. And he said, yes, I did. I called you. So this is, this is the same thing. This is God saying, this is, this is the church or this is people, right? Saying, you didn't call me. And God is saying, yes, I did. God is calling his sheep to the sheepfold. And if, if, you, if you're paying attention, remember, remember guys, the Bible says that God says, I do nothing without first revealing it to my servants, the prophets. He refers to prophets as his servants. He will do nothing on the earth without first revealing it to his servants, the prophets. So the prophets are saying, you guys, that there is one final call. I, I'm telling you that that's what, from, from the, the prophetic voices that I listen to, this is what I've been hearing. And also, how do, you, how do you discern? Is it in the scriptures? If it's not in the scriptures, you know, so you need to right, test the spirits and check. Is, it, is, it, is what this person's saying backed by scripture? The prophets are saying that there is one final call, right? One last harvest, one last call for the great harvest. The Lord is tearing. There's going to be one last great harvest. The Lord is calling, right? Jesus says, my sheep know my voice. Jesus is calling the sheep. He's calling everyone in for one great last harvest. Okay? So don't miss the call. Will you come to the call? Jesus says, my sheep know my voice. And so think about this, right? In the dream, it had already happened, right? The, in the dream, right? My uncle represents God in this dream. He first was saying, I called you. And my cousin said, you didn't call me. And he said, yes, I did. And then right after that, he said, we're in the last days. Prepare your things. Store up extra things. Secure your things to the walls. Or he said, tape your things to the walls. Right? What does that mean to tape things to the walls? It means secure. Secure your things to the walls. Right? That means that when a shaking comes, things aren't going to be falling down. All right? Whatever you don't secure, whatever is not rooted in the Lord, the shaking will, will, will tear it down. Okay. So this is why in this time of grace, you need to get your house in order. You need to get your boat ready because when tumultuous times are coming, things are going to be shaken. Like the Lord, I guys, I've, I've had so many dreams and I just haven't made videos and I apologize, but the Lord gave me a dream of being in a boat. And the glory waves were coming and my whole entire boat was turned upside down, but everything was intact. And the glory wave just carried me and kept me going and everything was intact. Normally, if a boat flips upside down, it capsizes, right? And everything falls out. No, in my dream, the glory wave came, 
totally turned me upside down and kept pushing me. And I wasn't in a boat with the top. I was in like a rowboat with my things just by my legs. And nothing, nothing fell out of place. It was all intact. They were beautiful vessels. Everything was intact. And I kept going upriver. Um, and then I saw my sister behind me too. And the same thing. She was in her boat. She she got that glory wave, that ride, went upside down. Nothing was, nothing came out. And she kept going upriver too. Okay, but if, if we are, if, our, if we are not, how do we secure, how do we, tape our things to the walls, right? Because that's what the dream said. My uncle who represents God in this dream was saying, tape your things to the walls, right? It means secure, secure your things. So how do you secure your things? Make sure that it's whatever you have is God related, if that makes sense. It means that you are, you're putting God first. You are making sure that your home is rooted in Christ. You are getting rid of idolatry. You're getting rid of materialism. You're getting rid of any old ties to your past. You are making sure that you are restructuring your life to reflect a God-fearing home. You are putting Christ first. You're putting your family first before everything else. You are allowing the Lord to prune you, right? Because think about this. Think about a beautiful rose garden. When things are dead, they're they're dry and they're brittle and they're brown. If you shook it, it would just fall off, right? So you don't want to just be a rose plants or bush, whatever, with a bunch of dead stuff that as soon as it shakes, it's just going to fall off, right? Or you have a bunch of thorns. No, you want to just allow the Lord to prune you. And then when it does, someone does come, Right? You're just, you don't have anything dead to fall off. Like you're already just the beautiful, flourishing rose flower, right? That God pruned and and grew. Amen. So I also, just for myself personally and in my family, right? Now I'm just going to be praying so much more, even hardcore for my family, making sure that everyone is saved. What's my responsibility? My responsibility is to make sure that I call those salt souls in. I call those souls in in the name of Jesus. I declare that they shall be saved in Jesus' name. Be a powerful intercessor, guys, for your family. So, yeah, um, I pray that bless you guys. Let me read again a few more of these scriptures. Think about this, right? Proverbs 25, 28. Whoever has no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down without walls. Okay? You want to make sure you have rule over your own spirit. Wow. That's quite powerful. You need to say, Lord, if I'm not Holy Spirit filled and living a spirit filled life and living a spirit led life, Lord, help me. And surrender to him every single day. If you haven't gotten baptized yet in the Holy Spirit, get baptized in the Holy Spirit. Um, sister in Christ, her name's Apostle Liberty Turnipseed. Now it's like Liberty Heist, but she said this. She says in her videos, if you aren't baptized in the Holy Spirit, she's like, you're not going to make it in the last days, basically is what she's saying. It's going to be a time, you guys, when the shaking is going to get so powerful that if, if you are not on fire for Christ, you're going to have a very difficult time. So this is not to cause fear, but this is to cause you to just don't be on the fence. Just go all in with Christ. If you have compromise, that's why you're on the fence. If you have compromise. You're one foot out, one foot in. You got to be all in. That would hurt to be on a fence. Ouch. <laughs> right? So just be all in. Jesus is calling everybody for this final harvest. You don't want to be a person who says, you didn't call me. And he says, yes, I did. I did call you. Wow. 
that's powerful, guys. Anyways, I pray this blesses you. Um, please share this with someone. Please comment. Amen. And make sure that you get your house in order and make sure you get your boat ready. Okay? Because the waves are coming. And if your boat's ready, you're going to be all right. Amen? And you're going to be more than all right. You're going to thrive. You are going to thrive. Amen? All right, guys. God bless you. If you're new, please subscribe to this channel. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.